Well, hello there. My name is Mark Miles, and I love helping trainers, presenters, workshop facilitators really take their results to the next level. In today's video, I want to talk to you about how you, as an individual, as an influencer in your marketplace, really create your signature brand. Now, this is something that people don't really think about very much, but I want to share with you a very simple process that you can go through to essentially brand yourself in the marketplace and create your signature system or your signature, I guess, model that's going to really make you stand out as a professional influencer in your space. Now, the process that I'm going to go through with you is really, really, really simple. But most people don't actually take the time to define who are you? And what is it that really you really stand for? And ultimately, when you are presenting, what is it that you're really trying to get across? Because fundamentally, in your marketplace, when someone sees you as an influencer or sees you as somebody that's, you know, as a leader in the marketplace or someone that's running trainings or anything like that, ideally, you want them to associate you with something, you with a message or you with an idea, okay? And what I want to share with you is just two simple things that you can do in order to create that positive association. And I want to share with you, how do you create your signature system, your signature model, your signature message that you want to get out to the marketplace? And essentially, I just want to share with you basically what I've done over the last 10, 13 years now. And... It really came about by accident. So back in, I think it was about 2010, 2011, maybe even 2012, 13, I was actually running my very first workshop. And just before it, I had you know all the content planned out. But just before it, lo and behold, I was actually in the bathroom. And I just had this thought in my mind. And I thought, huh, all right, I'm running a train-the-trainer course. Okay, let me think about this. Ultimately, what am I trying to get across to people? What what am I really trying to get across? And I start to meditate, start to ponder, I start to think, I've got it. There are three fundamental things that people need to master. And if they master those three things, they're going to be great trainers and presenters. And so I came up with this very, very simple model. And it was called the RER model. Now, I didn't ever heard of it before in my life. But it just came to me. And I just I just because I asked myself the question, what are the three fundamental things that somebody needs to do? I'll say it again. What are the three fundamental things that somebody needs to do in order to be excellent or really good at XYZ thing? Right. And I came up with the model. It was a three-step model. And basically I went in there into the workshop and I made sure that anything and everything I taught fell out of that model. And so here's the first thing, folks. Number one, ask yourself, what are the three fundamental things that somebody needs to be able to do in your industry, your world, at a very proficient level? And what you can then do is you can create a diagram from that. Now, in my case, it was rapport, creates engagement, which creates retention. And so I created fancy diagrams around that, but that became my signature model. So my question to you is, what is your signature process your signature model that maybe you haven't yet defined and maybe you haven't been clear enough to your market about, right? Then the second thing is I wanted to ask myself, what is the overarching idea or the overarching concept that I'm really trying to get across to an audience? And if I describe my entire presentation or my entire, I guess, big fat idea in one sentence, what would it be? I'll say it again. If I was going to define my big message, my big bad idea to my entire audience in one sentence, what would that be? And my big fat idea became, it's not what I say that matters, it's what people remember that makes all the difference. Say it again. It's not what I say that matters, it's what people remember that makes all the difference. So what I say that matters is what people remember that makes all the difference. And as a great speaker, you want to learn to speak to be remembered, not just heard. Okay. And that is essentially the message that I went to the marketplace with. And I said, so what do you say that matters is what people remember? Because at the end of the day, if you're heard, but not remembered, now you're kind of wasting your time, right? So that was the whole overarching concept. 
And that became my signature message, my signature model, right? And so what I really want to encourage you to do, if you're an aspiring trainer or aspiring leader in your marketplace, ask yourself, what are the three fundamental things that someone needs to be able to master, do well, be proficient at, so they really own their space, so they really are successful? And if you're a coach, you know, what are your three things that you really recommend that your clients master? And then you can create fancy diagrams around that, Venn diagrams or whatever, graphs, charts, whatever you want, right? And then guess what? That becomes part of your signature talk as well. So if anyone's followed any of my videos, you'll know that I've done a lot of videos on the concepts of rapport, on the concepts of engagement, on the concept of retention. And I've done an entire keynote presentation on the entire topic of rapport, engagement, retention. That's my signature model, right? So what's yours? What is your signature model that you're bringing to the marketplace? The three steps. And then ask yourself the question, what is your overarching message that you're trying to get across to the marketplace? And in my case, it was it's not what you say that matters, it's what people remember. It's not how much you say, but how much gets through to your audience. Okay. So, and you can come up with all these different catchphrases that are sort of byproducts or different strings of the different idea that you actually have that you're trying to get across to your marketplace, right? So I just wanted to share that because a lot of times people are bland as hell in the world of training. They're really boring and they've really got no life and characteristics to themselves or, you know, different uniqueness or different distinctions that really set them apart from other people. So, you know, one corporate trainer is pretty much as good as another corporate trainer or one keynote speaker, you know, but if you think about it at the end of the day, what makes someone different, unique, and actually enticing to listen to? Well, it's normally because they've got a unique perspective about what is their signature model? What's the signature idea that they're trying to get across to the marketplace? And as a result, people hear it, go off and get great ideas, and then they keep sharing that model that's associated to that person with other people. And they go, have you heard of XYZ person? Um, yeah, they share this really great model or this really great thing. And, you know, that creates reverberations in the marketplace. So I just wanted to share this with you because ultimately, the more you can define yourself as who you are, what you do, and the model and the message you're bringing to the marketplace, the more potentially you're going to get booked, the more people are going to want to learn from you and the more people are going to have clarity of your message and be able to go out and implement whatever you're teaching them. So if you got some value from the video and start to maybe even think about what's your signature model and signature message that you want to get across to the marketplace. As always, like, comment, share, and let's get this out there so that even more people can be even more successful in their training journey. And you guys, as great influencers of workshop facilities, can go out there and get even better results. Thanks for watching, team, and we'll see you on the next one.